Hey everyone, and welcome to class. Today on Tech Tip Tuesdays, we're going to talk about trombone slides, and particularly that sound when you're moving the slide back and in, that it clanks. It sounds like metal on metal. So when we've got this uh, trombone slide out here, and we're pulling it back into first position, and you have that hard metal sound, what it means is the felts that are up inside of this cork barrel up here are shot and need to be replaced. So today I'm going to show you how. Let's show you the things you're going to need. So anytime we're doing slide work, we want to make sure that it's clean. So take your slide rod, whether that be a snake, if you've got it, but I really prefer these straight rods that you can put paper towel or toilet paper or a cheesecloth into and really get that inside and outside slide really, really clean. Then, and that's just done for me, I use uh, paper towels just because they're handy. Cut them into little strips like this. Um, to replace the corks, you or to replace the felts on these, you can buy these round felts. I actually prefer these long straight ones, um, and I'll show you how we do use those in a little bit. Um, cutting board and a knife to cut these into shape, and then a remover. You can buy these tools to remove the felt or cork out of the uh, slide. Or, like in this case, this is a bass trombone. I didn't have one big enough for that several years ago, so I made my own out of a fluid head joint. So, you know, use what you got. What we do is remove the outer slide and you take the tool and slide it right up over top of the tube so it comes inside the barrel. And what I'm reaching for is I'm reaching clear up inside of here in order to grab a hold of that felt and cut it out of there. And sometimes it takes a little bit of work to just get a hold of it just right. And dig it out, you can start to see I'm starting to cut into it. There we go. I'm going to just simply slide this one off the tube. I'm going to go back up inside there and see if there's any more. And because I know I'm hitting metal on metal, I know there's nothing else there. So instead I'm going to go up inside the top slide here and cut this one out. Now sometimes what you need to do is you need to remove the slide lock. So we simply unscrew the slide lock so it's out of your way so the tool can go up far enough and that the cork itself can get out past the slide lock itself. There we got her. Voila. There we go. And I'm going to just blow those out. Make sure that they are completely gone. All right, now we're ready to go back in to these slides with new felts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my long, thick felt, and you can see about how thick this guy is. And I'm going to fold this guy around. You notice I've got these cut already to where they're about the width uh, or the diameter of the tube. And then I'm simply going to take a screwdriver or something like that to put the ends down inside there. I'm just trying to get it started. The reason we get that started there, then we take the slide itself and use it to bump that piece up inside there. And now we've got a much better, softer sound inside of that because that's actually hitting correctly. Hitting something that's not completely destroyed like that last bell was. And we'll repeat that on the other side of this at the same while we're at it. Now this one here, you notice how it's overlapping just a little bit? It's no big deal. I'm just going to come over here, got that marked out, chop that end off. Now we're going to do pull it around and actually meet. Then, take both slides, that's what we want, we want that nice soft sound. Then, while you've got it off, put a little bit of lubricant, whether it be oil or a little bit of tuning slide grease, whatever you got, 
on those threads of this slide lock just to make sure that it keeps moving the way you want it to. And then this is why there are so many threads on those slide locks. Because when you get brand new cork, sometimes it doesn't fit in as far as you want it to, so you unscrew it one turn. That way it comes all the way and grabs a hold of that slide lock. And now you've got a slide that sounds good and functions really, really well. So if your slides are clean, straight, and dent free, man, a trombone slide should just let loose no problem at all. It should just drop right out of here. This is not quite flat, but almost flat, and that slide is just disappearing. Vertically, it just flows. And that's what we want. We want a trombone slide to work with no hesitation at all. If there's any hesitation in it, that player is just getting beat up in the face every time they move that slide, that horn's coming back and whapping their lips between the mouthpiece and their teeth, and that's no good. Get into a shop, have somebody take a look at that slide for you and get it cleaned up. But if you're hearing any of that metal on metal clank when it's coming together, you know that it's time to replace those uh, corks or felt, whatever is up inside there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Zoom and answer all of the questions that people are having that are here joining me live for, for Tech Tech Tuesdays. If you're not here with me live, then go to repairmasterclass.com, scroll down on the home page and find the link to join me live and come here. That way, when you have repair questions, all you have to do is jump online with me and answer them uh, or ask your questions so I can answer them for you. I'm happy to help out in any way that I can. If you're not able to make it to the live sessions, no big deal, just email me. My uh, address is over on the website as well or at steve at repairmasterclass.com and send me your question, we'll get you taken care of. Thanks for joining us today, guys. We'll see you next week. Cork barrel rem uh, remo removals. Remove, let's try that again.